Hey everybody, I'm Tom Ross. And I'm Ross Miriam. You're watching Versus Series on StarCityGames.com. Hey everybody, welcome to another Versus video. Today we're going to be playing a little bit of Modern. Um, you're probably a little bit tired of Standard. We had two opens of Standard in the Pro Tour and Regionals. But now we're here for Modern to play some decks from the last uh, Classic in Baltimore. I'm playing a Lloyd Kurth Bant Retreat deck. Not really new, but uses a Retreat to Core Helm with uh, Night of the Reliquary to kind of go off, hit him for up to 22. Yeah, but outside of that, it's just sort of a normal cordish kind of deck, mana creatures, some value creatures, but it can play a pretty good aggro plan. It has this just combo aspect to it. Um, and I'm playing a pretty similar deck. Uh, also, this sort of mana creature toolboxy deck, but also uh, with a combo finish. And it is Jeff Hoagland's list from that same classic where he made the semifinals. Uh, it is sort of the next, uh, I'll say, for lack of a better word, evolution of the Kiki Core deck. It uses the new Eldritch Moon card, Eldritch Evolution. Uh, so it can play Eldritch Ev um, Evolution a three drop and do its Kiki Jiki and combo with Restoration Angel and do a bunch of cool stuff like that. Um, and. I don't know. We're just going to jam a bunch of creatures against each other and see what happens. Yeah, we we haven't really had much time to uh, play Modern with the new Eldr uh, Eldritch Moon cards. Um, Jeff's been working on Modern a lot. Um, he hadn't had a chance to play Modern because he's been playing, you know, the, the Opens, but uh, he didn't make day two of Baltimore because his plane didn't arrive till round five. <laughs> yeah. So he had two buys. He had two losses in round three and four, and I guess it wasn't enough to convert to a, a day two finish. I didn't day two that tournament either. But yeah, I guess he's been working on this Edric Evolution deck for a while. Just, you know, another evolution from his Kiki Core deck that he's been working on forever. Yeah, so uh, uh, he made the top eight of that tournament, and then I actually talked to him earlier this week uh, and asked him for an updated list, so that's what I'm playing today. We've got, uh, so we got a little bit of a fresher list for you uh, as opposed to what he played for that tournament. He learned a lot, uh, certainly playing in it and doing very well, uh, and now we have a, sort of the next step in tuning the deck. Yeah, and I'm just playing Bank Coco. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get to some games. Yeah. First, let's get some dice. Some poker hand. Yeah, basic poker hand. Two pairs, B pairs. High. There's some straights involved, too. Uh, fours over twos. All right, I got one pair. Fours. Got them. Okay, here for game one, and we have both mulligan to six cards. Uh, this is a fine six. We've got some stuff to do, and um, yeah, uh, not much to say. Just pretty reasonable hand. Yeah, I'm, I'm mulliganed a decent hand, but didn't have an accelerant. Now I'm in uh, one lander, but I do have a scry, and if I get a land, I think it should work out pretty okay. well. My scry, that hand card is way too expensive for us right now. Uh-huh. Mine's not a uh, land, so. And I guess I'm actually just going to shuffle anyway, but. Uh-oh, could be bad. Oh, he has a mana creature. I'm going to find the Sacred Foundry. At least I got a play next with turn. Basic Forest. So, yeah, 18 and 19. Right. I think my hand has a lot of upside. Could Splinter Twin them out. If not, at least I'll have a 1 2. <laughs> Pretty sure Tarmog of belong in this deck. Okay. Gonna get out there with Wall of Omens. Pass. Pretty good. Uh oh. Might lose. Go. <laughs> okay. Well, I think what I want to do, even though this is going to make that Tarmogoyf real big, <laughs> um, so I'm going to crack this. I'm going to go to 16 and get a Temple Garden. Yeah. And I'm going to. Evolution this Wall of Omens into a Pia and Kirin so that I can kill Noble Hierarch next turn. I think I need a fetch land right now. Uh, once I'm... You can go. I'm just, this is exiled, so go to 2-3. And I have some Thopters. All right. All right. Tilt. Do I need blue mana right now? I don't know. I don't know what I need. I don't know what I need. I could play either my knight or a courser or a 2-1 that gets back a fetch land. 
I don't know what's better. What happens if the knight dies? This is all it's all bad no matter what. So I got here a two three. Nice. Can't double shoot my my thing. Alright, whatever. Hmm. Am I doing this right? Probably not. Whatever. Go ahead. You just gotta you just I got gotta a basic force. Forced. Yep. Okay. Um hmm. My plan of too many options. I could play any of this stuff. Killing all of Tom's mana now looks rather poor. Biggest Knight of the Reliquary can essentially function as a mana creature. Expensive elf. Hmm. So now I have some options. I think at this point I want to get aggressive. So in that vein, I will path this knight, path. play a selfless spirit, and attack for two in the air. That brings you to 15. So now we got a 3-4 Tarmogoyf. That's a good attack last turn, couldn't I have? Uh, it would have been a 3-4. I could have just triple blocked. Probably should have. Oh no! What's that do? Probably could have just attacked before doing your stuff, because then I'm unlikely to block. Because I want to kill your noble. So I have up to six mana this turn. Six? That's so many. How do you have six mana? I got this thing. <laughs> Jeez. Play a land on tap. This. Now what? So. Shoot down selfless, or shoot down my heretic Cathar if I cast it. So maybe I just want a courser. But would use a lot of his mana, a lot of his turn. Let me just beat with that right quick. What's up? For four. Four damage. I go to 12. So it would make him shoot down this, and then I'd have kind of six mana again next turn, maybe? Maybe. I don't want to force them out. I am kind of dying right now. I think I need to die. Whatever. I'll play this, this one that can't die. Here you go. My, my board's a mess. What do you got on top? Hot mess. Bop. Hmm. Not very good. Okay. Well, I definitely want to find more lands, so... I will play a Wall of Omens. Now I will tilt. Okay, bash for four. You're at 11. True. Pass. All right, what can I do here? Breeding pool, useful. Okay, probably, probably want to play that after I tap my bird for mana. Or my noble hark as it is. Can't really get anything back with this witness. Oh, with this goy, same size. Three, four rats. Yep. Guess I kind of... Do I have enough mana to activate my Gavany Township? I don't believe so. Unless I... I mean, if you don't want to do anything else. If I witness back this Heath, I could. I think. All right. I have three. Yeah, I could if I witness back a Heath. Yep. But then I wouldn't have my Thalia in play. Ooh, man. Whatever. Tap this for mana. Uh, so you go to 10? What if I don't shock? Let me think for a second. Yeah, I just won't shock. So you're 12? Yeah, I'm at 12. I'll just play some stuff, I guess. I'll have one floating, don't I? Yep. So let's play a thing and a, another thing. Uh, but better look at this first. Probably don't want that. Get this back, I guess. Oh, I'm just going crazy over here. Whatever. Which one that? I'll take four. Go to eight. Hmm. All right. Whatever. <laughs> Go for it. Okay. Would really like a basic land here. 
Ding, 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 ding. We did it, kids. Tap your stuff. Good. This taps anything, too? Jesus. Basically dead. Should have kept that secret. <laughs> hmm. So, he has a fetch land. Probably have to shoot my thought if we're doing anything else. Maybe not. Tap two things. And then... So, fetch land, tap two of my creatures, activate Gavany Township, and if I block these things, then I take seven, so I need, basically can't attack. Oh, no, I have a wall of them. It's Jesus. So I can attack with one thing and not die? Probably. So, 10, 11. Yeah, I will attack for two. Okay, ten, 10 life. You can go. Oh, no. Hmm. Hmm. Voice. See, bird fetching hand. Who blocks uh, two things? And then what? Blocks two things, and then what? I guess I'll probably play my two birds first. And then just try to hit them, and then try not to die. Could core for great stuff. I'm sure. Oh, well. These. <laughs> yep. Guess I'm tapping down a P and gear and LR. Then I'll fitch. I gained a life too, so I'm 11. Yeah. So now I'm at 10, going up to 11. Guess I'm tapping a Thopter. Mm. And then I'm attacking. With this junk. Buh. <laughs> so this can block as a 3 4 and. can block here and yeah I'll block like that um so if I get any now he's probably gonna shoot down my Thalia so what I want to do is try to resolve this first strike damage first yeah I got a five and then yeah I'll get any <laughs> and I guess actually I should block like this. This makes more sense. Okay. If I want to kill Thalia that way. Yeah. This um I'll go to three. No, that's that's just not gonna do anything. No, well block like that. Um the activation is good. So you took three, you're at five at yeah. this very second? Okay. I'm gonna make my things indestructible. Okay. And oh no, I had a dice. <laughs> All right, so you got this thing unblocked and coming at you. Yeah, I'm at two. Oh, that's my top card, Casey Gear. Think I'm dead. I'm trying to figure out if I can survive one more turn and somehow cast a Kiki Jiki, get a Kiki Jiki into play. Um. So I'm going to resto the Pia and Kieran and get two more Thopters. Eek. So that's step one. And then step two. So this gives me a boatload of blockers for next turn. Six without the Restoration Angel. Nice five because Tom has a land on top. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. And then mm, I think I'm going to be dead to that land. Because I'm at two. Um, so draw. I've been. It's been a while since I played with a courser. I'm probably gonna forget a whole bunch of times. Yeah. Um. So the best I can do is 
get this eternal witness into play and then path one thing. So path the goyf land comes down, taps down some creature, and then I guess restoration angel can can then block a uh, can block something. So this is, this actually works. So I'll play eternal witness. It comes in tapped. Okay, I'll okay. return path to exile. I will pass. I want to path during combat so that the land that he finds off of path doesn't trigger this relevantly. Okay. I mean, tap all my junk. A Ooh, fetch land, I'm ain't, dead. Ain't forgetting nothing, am I? It's on top of my library. Till <laughs> Now I'm dead. Because now I only have five blockers. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven attackers. Let so you, if... you carry the path this on my draw step. Mm. And then I'm still dead. Because I just get, then use player land and get an, a basic. So. All right, if you say so. Yeah. I mean, I have, I have seven blockers plus a removal spell of so that deals with eight things. You have seven things. Your fetch land triggers this twice, which deals with two things. So now I have six to your seven, and they're all lethal because you activate Township. And they oh. all have at least two power. Okay, Mass checks out. Okay, back here for game two. Once again, we have both mulligan to six cards. Um, and I have a pretty solid hand, good mix of lands and stuff. Hopefully we get to cast this one, but I won't be holding my breath. Yeah, I'm mulligan day. Land heavy hand, looking for a mana creature. I kind of found a mana creature, but not really. Uh, let's get this grind, I suppose. I need to... And I kind of like this one. Get to combo here. Yeah. Keep that. I needed that one. Okay, play tap stomping ground. Ooh. Ooh, it's... Jeez. A temple garden, I suppose. I probably could make do with a forest, but... You're at 17. I don't want to have to count I'll, on this bird's living. I'll fetch for a plains. So Plain 17 to everybody. Uh, no, I'm at 19. That stomach garden came in tapped on turn one. Oh, yeah, you're right. You can go. I'm just drawing a card. Good, good. That's yeah. pretty good. I don't think there's much reason not to do this. 16. Yeah, I'm just going to get a force this time around. Play a Knight of the Reliquarian. I'm done. It does threaten to kill him if uh, he has the fear in him. Well, I will play a Voice of Resurgence and pass the turn. Am okay. I dead? No, not dead. That's lucky. Uh, so I can make this up to a 6-6 six, six, where I really wanted to. Thing is, do I want another land, or do I want... Like, I could pump this up about two more, or I could attack. I probably should be attacking. Boom. So big. Uh, I don't know when to cast my collector companies. I guess it's going to be now. As long as you don't hit Reflector Mage. So there's a spell crawler in my deck, so I kind of want to do it when, when spells are on a stack, but... Yeah, my I'll curve's pretty high. I also have... No Bahiric in my deck, so I want the Exalted. So, yeah, do I want to draw Forced? Probably not. So that incentivizes me to kind of not attack this turn. I think I want something other than Forced. Okay, go. Okay. I'll crack this, go to 18. Gonna get a second stomping ground. This just gives him a window to kill my course where I gain less life, but I don't think I'm worried about life too much. I'm at 18, and gonna need to draw something good. And by good, I mean a land. Tilt. So I can knight for a fetch land, which gives me two looks at uh, finding a good card on top of my library. Play bird. You can go. So all night. I guess I'm sacrificing this forest. For just some fetch land. And you gain a life, go to seventeen. Uh yeah, that's right. Cuts. See what it is. Another night. It's probably Do you better want than that. I guess so. They're about to be large. They're already large. Thaw, yeah. That's something I don't think I want. Stay at 17, I believe. Yeah, stay at 17. 
Let's get a planes, what I guess. What do we got? Well, I know we got a knight. I haven't played a land for my turn, so I kind of want to flip a land off this. I did. Good tilt. That's a good 18. This Corsair card is pretty good. Tarmogoyf. Not great. Do I even want to try to bust through his stuff? I think I'll cast this card first to see what happens. So I'm going to cast this here. don't think I'm ghost quartering anything soon. Cast a Thalia. Yep. Ooh, so I can just bust through his stuff somehow, some way. This will get the most information. So I'll stay at 18. Yeah. I guess he couldn't cord for a blocker very well anyway. I don't know. Ooh. Jesus. I have some big guys. The creatures are so big. So an attack just kills a wall of omens or something? Yeah, I guess. Or I guess uh, you need to six seven. Or convert his, his voice. Options are endless. Yeah, I think I'm just going to chump with the voice. Get myself a... Yeah, we don't have real elementals. Just imagine this doesn't say 8-8. Eight, eight. All right. Uh, end step all cord for two. And I think I'm just finding another wall of omens. So... Where are you? I'm sure I could be. I guess I could find self a spirit, but eh. Yeah, I could probably be doing cooler stuff, but I do know how to beat down, so I'm going to do what I know. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to find. I'm not going to find wall omens. Figured it out. Figured it out. Took It took a, a hot minute, but I'm going to find the spell skite. It's the only way I'm winning this game. This if I combo you. I'm too far behind on board. Need to somehow combo through this Thalia, which is going to be tricky. Okay. Uh, this land comes in tapped. And I'll pass the turn. Okay. Show that card. Breeding pool. How much mana do I actually need? Well, I do want this township in play. How do I lose? I lose by getting restoed. Resto into Kiki Jiki. That could be bad. Although, the. Wait. I guess all of his Restoration Angels do come in and play tapped from Thalia, oh, yeah, so I don't just straight die. I just want this free land. So bad. I think it's probably better to get this Gavney Township and play, though. I think I'm going to shuffle my library anyway. How about I just tackle one knight? Oh, let's gain a life. 19. Let me tackle with these. Yeah, I'll tackle the. Wait, do I need to cast a card first? Maybe. Let me cast this first. Then I'll attack with these. Okay. Well, Solid Pride Mage sort of throws a wrench into my plans. Uh, this is certainly blocking here. This will block here. Have you played? You you've played a land. Yeah, you played the township. Yeah, I played so township. If you want to activate township and use Pride Mage, then... I would have to tap my Knight of the Reliquary. Oh, yeah. So you can do both. Um, yeah, so I will just block like that. Do I need to do stuff? I don't think so. If I want to hit you for one more I with Thalia, I guess so. I guess your is threatening is to die, so yeah. yeah, I'd do stuff. Okay, I'm going to play Resto and blink my Wall of Omens. Okay, so yes, I draw five card. creatures in play. 
What do I want to do? I still have this knight that I could do stuff. So now with. your courser is about to die again. Five five against three five. So I kind of need to kill your spell skirt. Yep. Or what if I just? I don't think I can go quarter him off of red. He has a ton of red. Okay. So sacrifice this. Get this. Hmm. So I have a Sajuri step in my deck and also have a Westfall Abbey to cause him some concern. And I like the idea of leaving up a Sajuri step, but I probably want to keep my Corsair alive. Let me just get this right quick. Wait, do I have enough force in my deck still? I guess I'll shuffle my deck one time, see, uh, See if my top card is just amazing or not. Because I'm sure. probably just going back in. It ain't bad. It ain't bad. Seems pretty poor here. Uh, yeah. Okay, so you end up getting one on the exchange. You go to 20. Going to blow up my spell sky. These bounce off each other and I take four. Yeah. I'm at 14. How much life did I gain? I think I'm at 20 right now. Yes, you're at 20. Yeah. Yeah, I go. Buh. How big your bring pool? You got two, four, five, seven lands in the graveyard. So your knights are ten tens. Uh, nine nines. They have counter. Oh counter. yeah, you're right. They're ten ten. That's twelve. Uh. Okay then. All right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um. I think I needed a basic land again there. Now I'm, uh, unfortunately, <laughs> I have this in my hand instead of just having this. Otherwise, I would be able to uh, threaten both green and white blockers for the knights. And this is uh, 7, 9, this is 13 total against my 14 life um, after a township activation. So being able to block to normally I'd be able to block two knights, cast this, have it enter tapped, and then win the combo the next turn at one life. But I mean, your, your rest of those are gonna come and play tapped from Thalia. Mm -hmm. uh, I still need to kill the th Jesus. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know how I was supposed to win this game. Then I needed to draw a path, so I guess I would have needed to r to rip a path to exile as well. This this Thalia is really a huge beating, and has been both games. Yeah. I just don't think there's. I have this Elishnorn that doesn't do anything. I don't know what I can cord for, Thrag Tusk after blocks to stay alive, but that's not going to get me anywhere. I'm just dead. All right. <laughs> so every attack keeps getting worse for me. <laughs> okay, here for sideboarding in uh, Kiki Evolution against Cor uh, Coral Helm Bant. And I, from my side, I'm just cutting some of the expensive creatures that don't really have a great effect in this matchup. Uh, Rurkthar, obviously not great against a deck filled with creatures, and actually will generally be smaller than Knight of the Reliquary by the time it comes down. So as a six drop that can clunk up some of my opening hands, as it's an easy cut. Obstinate Baloth, my life total is not something I'm trying to really bolster in this matchup. It's really more about playing to the battlefield and getting ahead there. Uh, so that's an easy cut as well. And I'm cutting one of the voices. Um, Tom's not trying to cast a lot of spells on my turn for the most part, and the 2-2 two -two body doesn't do a lot. Uh, you, sometimes the elemental that it leaves behind can get big, but I think when we're bringing a, a couple other creatures, we can trim a voice. I'm bringing a couple answers to... Uh, to the actual retreat, which is nice to have, uh, so I don't just sort of lose over the course of that the game, either with a quick combo or, uh, as you saw in game one, Tom just tapping out a lot of my blockers and getting ahead that way, and then bringing the last path to exile. This is a matchup where I'm going to need to kill a lot of key creatures, especially Knight of the Reliquary, so I want all the, all the removal spells for big creatures that I can get. Okay, so I have 29 creatures in my deck. I am a collected company deck. I uh, I'm taking out a quarter calling because I don't want to take out a third creature. I'm going down 27 creatures, which I guess is okay. The one collect company I cast, I barely hit, and I don't want to be at risk of that too much. But I do want some negates. Negates hit uh, his Eldritch Evolutions along with his paths and his uh, quarter callings, but 
I think it's a little bit better than Dispel because I can counter the Evolution. And yeah, Path to Exile to stop his combo. Um, I think Tarmogoyf is pretty medium in this. It's just like a 3-4 or whatever. And Scavenger is not that great. It stops his Eternal Witnesses. I guess Revel Arc, but not too important. And I, I like one chord, but eh, I'm off it. I'm keeping it on my Voice of Resurgence because he, he is a more uh, instant speed kind of deck with like Restoration Angel and his own chords and stuff. So hopefully that'll stop him from... Or make him like play awkwardly on his own turn. That's Sounds sweet. good. Okay, back here for game three, and I have continued the trend of mulligan into six. Although Tom has not been kind enough to reciprocate, uh, have a pretty good opening start. Still don't have a bird, but this is about the next best option. So I'll keep. Yeah, I don't have a bird either, but I have a curve, I guess. <laughs> okay, scry, and eh. I'll leave that one on the bottom. Pass. Oh, shoot. I'm just going to crack this fetch land. If we had seen something really good on top, I would have played uh, the non-fetch land in my hand to make sure we draw it the next turn. But <laughs> So I think what I'm going to do is get Sacred Foundry, and then I can fetch Basic Forest on my turn. Sure. And, yep, yeah, that's what we're going to do. 18. You can go. Hmm. Hmm. Kasali Pride Mage, you say. Feeling behind-ish. Uh, so I'm 18. You just said two basics. That's kind of lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. And we'll attack for two. Okay. Got him. And I'll play this Courser. Oh, that's bad. Forgot that was an enchantment for a second. It's been a while. Okay. Um. So given that that just happened, then I'll just go with my normal plan of evolutioning this thing into a PN Kieran, making a big elemental. Okay. <laughs> and sure made that attack risky then. Can I do a bunch yeah. of nothing? 18 all. I have four creatures in play. You want to trade your Pride Mage for a Thopter? I don't know. Whatever. Please get some pink. Jeez. You're at 20. Yep, go. Well, that's interesting. Very interesting. I can... So, hmm. I just make a really gigantic force in the air. That seems pretty good. Okay. I'm going to cord for four. And I'm going to find a Restoration Angel and blink my PN, Karen. Sure. <laughs> you can go. Let's make our board really, really big. Start mushing him. Got seven power in the air. Can't really attack. I guess I can't attack. I can attack with this kitchen pinks. All right, four, three is attacking you. Three is attacking me. Four, what three. kind of nonsense do you have? Just a four, three. Hmm. Oh, so four is attacking me. Yeah, you have exalted. That's the nonsense you have. Fourteen. Okay, go. Cool. Got a collected company. That's lucky. Why okay. do I play this ghost score? Oh, I guess I had to. Hmm. Hmm. 
So I think at this point I can safely just play this Courser. Hold on, I might do something. Oh. Probably not. Yeah, whatever, go ahead. Okay. Play this land, gain a life. I'm at 15. Okay. And this is f so now my elemental. It actually is an 8 8. That's perfect. It doesn't have <laughs> vigilance, but now we can start beating down. Uh, so I could attack with my 8 8 elemental, but it's potential that I would rather block with it. Um, hmm. I'm going to crack this fetch land. Okay. Good. Stay at 15. Going to get a forest. Assume that Tom would not try to kill my courser in response to stop the life gain because he wants to cast a collected company here. So we'll see what my top card is. Eternal Witness, that's not bad. Definitely want to try to close this game out. So if I attack with the Elemental, uh, there's a good chance it just gets chumped by Tom's worst creature, whereas if it doesn't attack, it can potentially hold off Tom's best, but that gets blown out if Tom has a Path Exile. I think just containing his board while I'm attacking in the air is best, so I'm going to attack with those six creatures. I guess I should play this first, sorry. Make it a 9-9, nine -nine, so. Hmm, okay. I don't think that matters. 17. I need a... Going to 17? Yeah, I don't need another basic forest. But I do need, like, blue and white mana. Yeah, don't know how I'm going to get through this stuff. Guess I'll figure it out later. Uh, guess this. What could it possibly be? Bird paradise. Tight. Give me a bird. <laughs> now what? Just take all this? It's 16. It's probably too much to take. Probably. You'd be at one. <laughs> okay, I blocked that. Okay, you get a 10? Yep. Pass. What do I need? I don't know. What do you need? I need a lot. That's that's what I think too. Uh, I have enough mana to do these. That's Better question it. is, what do you have? Okay, I guess I'm attack with this for five. Sure. Ten all. E witness on the top of the old library. Is that good? Well, gee, these cards are good. Whatever, I'm gonna path this. Uh, I'll gain a life. Guess I'll get a planes. I'm at 11. Let's see if I can beat the top guard of his deck or not. Probably not. So probably can't, but all right, go. Uh, so uh, draw this. I think this is gonna do it. Uh, go to twelve. You just have one one mana up. Yep. Yeah, I shouldn't cast no heart. So I will uh, play Eternal Witness. Get back cord. I guess okay. I'll path this first. Sure. So this comes in untapped. It's pathed. And then <laughs> I can uh, one, two, three, seven, 
eight chord for five. I guess, yeah. Yeah, man, whatever you want. <laughs> I guess you have path to exile. Is that what that's what's happening here? You would have path to exile. Oh, all right. One card in hand. Okay, I'll I'll kiki my resto. Oh, all right. I'll keep doing it. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're getting me with the, the stone face, Tom. I don't know what to do. All right, we're here for game four. Uh, haven't had a mana creature in a while, but that'll do this time, so I'm going I'm to rock it. And uh, the sand is a little bit slow. Possible I should mulligan on the draw, but it just says such a solid collection of cards that I'm going to keep. All right. Yeah, that is not good for me. So... How am I likely to sequence this? I don't know. I'll just play the Shockland. We'll figure it out at some point. Start attacking with a voice resurgence here in a moment. Go, oh, jeez. It's a big voice. Okay, that's actually... Eh, it's not great, but it does make our our decision easy. I'll just get a Plains and play a Casali Pride Mage and pass. I'm 19. We're going to be under a lot of pressure here from this voice, so I'd like to conserve my life total. Um, do you want to do three things or one thing? Let's just do this. Three things or one thing. That's two things, Tom. That's not one thing. We'll Hopefully see. it's zero things, actually. Zero things. Uh, it looks like two things. That's probably going to be too many. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Got a it's couple, too many couple two twos yeah, in just, play. All right. Just a bunch of two twos. Four four attacking. Fifteen. Yeah, go. Okay, anger the gods. Can't really act on my turn now. Ugh. Okay. Well, I can not do much of anything. Uh. I like nigh companies that deck for me. <laughs> this is all I really want to do. I don't want to combo anybody out or counter any spells. <laughs> Just creatures. Just get them. So, I am assuming that that knight is going to activate next turn rather than attack. I don't think this really yeah. does much of anything, so I'm just going to play a spell skite and pass. Okay. If I were to activate a knight, what would I do with it? I don't know. Get a Gavany Township? Yeah, it wouldn't hurt. That's how you've won every other game. And you have five creatures in play, so... Um, I think it might have a plan. Uh-oh, he might have a plan. I might not have a plan. That's better. <laughs> I think I'm just attacking for four. Okay, so... Eleven. Now what? Do I want a Gavney or do I want to do other things? Eh, whatever. I'll just play more junk. <laughs> there you go. I'll uh, fetch to ten. Going to get another stomping ground. You got one card over there? Yep, one card. Hmm. Okay. Uh, it doesn't do much of anything. Sure hope you tap out. <laughs> Why? Am I dead? Uh, 
Well, I hmm. <gasps> I will attack. Would, but why? Why not? <laughs> so wild. What are you gonna do? Probably double block it. Seems okay. Then you might die. What if I have what are, man's team or battle rage? Whatever, man. Okay, I'll, re I'll rest on my cuss off right page. <laughs> I just want to main phase the rest there because of the three voices, and uh, I'll pass the turn. All right. So I have this and this. And how much mana tapped enough? Am I dead? Hope so. Let's try this. <laughs> Jeez. So if I did my math right, I think I did. Oh, no. Maybe I have to. Oh, wait. Let me path that too. While I'm at it, at the end of your turn. I had one more extra mana somewhere. No, I didn't. Maybe yeah. I didn't. Shoot. I guess I need to draw something then, maybe. Okay, drew land. <laughs> so you're 19. You just... You're not going to path that. And then... I can Abby. One, two, three, four, five. Have two other attackers. Abby with these. And then I can turn this to a security step. And get this uh, protection from white and attack you for 10. Exalted. Oh, that's... Yeah, that'll do it. Okay, back here for game five. And I'm going to need a couple more lands, but I do have a mana creature. So if I hit them, this hand should be very good. I'll keep... You have a mana creature in a collection company. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Okay. I can get back a fetch if I want. 18, bird. Ooh, that's... Not bad. All right, maybe I can attack. Now Jeez. I go. Tell. One more time. Tell. Pass. Huh. That changed my play, maybe. Give me a... Planes. You're at 19. Yep, go. Okay, okay. Doing it. Think. Forgot that card existed. Rage of Earth ticket. Hmm. Think I just want to get a P and Karen. Man. Yeah, whatever. You can get, get some pressure in the air going. You can untap, play a little defensively on the next turn, but... Uh, what do I want to do? I'm going to cast Collective Company, then I don't know what. Yeah, I don't think I want to, like, try to get him with a spell quell or anything. Man, the options are so slim. Ah. Uh-oh. I'm going to die. <laughs> Got to retreat the core home at the bottom of my library. I need to kind of shuffle back up. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess I'll just... Get a mana right quick. Now we'll get Misty Rainforest into point or force. So I'm at eighteen. Mm, yep, eighteen. Can't kill all my mana creatures. Or can he? Um. Yeah, whatever, bird. Okay. That is a lot of mana creatures. Jesus. Okay. I uh, think I'm going to want to cast these two this turn and then set this up for next turn. So I will attack for four. Okay. You're 14. I'll play Pride Mage. I actually think I want to 
do I want a path now? So t- Township sort of complicates things because I don't want to let him play a spell into Township, but him him activating Knight is the same amount of mana, so I'm just going to path now. Cut some, cuts Tom out of some options. This is four forest and two planes in here. I guess I can get another forest. Even though it's one in my hand. Yeah, yeah whatever. Can't really attack him next turn. That's unfortunate. Hmm. Or maybe I can. We'll see. Just activate Township. You got two nobles. You can attack with one creature for sure. We'll yeah, see. I can. Let me... Me, me cast collect company. That seems good. <laughs> All right, deck. <laughs> so this isn't a graveyard, or, yeah. or about to be soon enough, right? I can get it back, right? Yes. All so you got righty. Coco in your hand again. All righty. Bash for three. Probably. Unless you have another mana creature to play. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Yes. Yeah. What do I need to do next turn? Coco again? Whatever. Dick three. I'm at 15. Yeah, go. Um, okay. Linear strategy. Well, this township is going to be a problem. And it is a problem I'm not sure how to deal with. So, you have five, nine mana, which is exactly enough to Coco plus activate Township. True. And you probably attack with a one Eternal Witness. It'll be a six, five. That's pretty big. Um, hmm. Right. Then I can... So, I will. Dang, I draw all my normal hierarchs. I'm going to crack this fetch. Go to 14. Cool. 14 all. And I'm going to do the only thing I know how to do, which is 2, 3. What is it? A cord for four? Seven. Yeah, cord for four. I guess I could cord for five and just start Kiki copying. Here. Yeah, Kiki Jiking my P and Karen every turn. Let's try that. That seems sweet. You can. It's legendary. Jesus. Why are you ruining my fun, Tom? Sure. I should have just let you get Kiki Jiking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't see how that worked out. Yeah, I forgot that thing. <laughs> it literally says non legendary. I mean, it, it, even if Kiki could target legends, it'd be fine. Like I just sacrifice the token every time to the legend rule, but I just get to make two thopters every turn, uh, which is a nice bonus. But now I think, yeah, I'm just going to get the Restoration Angel and... You going to attack me for one or... Well, it'd be two. I have a Casali Party Mage in play. Dang. Um, I guess... Oof. That that could have been a that could have been a play. No, not really, because of you can get some else we won't tap that top girl. No, no, no. I was thinking about trying to wait and cord for eventually for Elish Norn, but I don't have a way to build up to that amount of mana. Uh, so I'm just going to make a bunch of thopters, and should I attack for two? That'll bring you to twelve, and then. My attack in the air is for seven. I'd attack me for two if I was you. Yeah, I don't <laughs> think that the odd number of Thopter I don't think is actually doing much. Okay, okay. So you're at 12. You can go. All right. Noble Harks, Internal Witnesses, Duck. What does I even do? <laughs> I hope I draw another quarter calling. I think I want a township this turn. So let me. Tap my mana and Coco and see what's up. Yep. It's been the same game every time. <laughs> you just spew some creatures and township, and I'm trying to combo. Can't really. These cards have been bad. So I can attack with a 5 4, then what? No, oh, let's look at my top card. Ew. 
<laughs> All right. Better than two, three twos, so five, four attacks for the moment. Okay, so if I you have not played a land this turn, let me. I think you're blocking this anyway, aren't you? No, hold on. Let me. Whatever. I go to eleven from this courser. Yep. And I'll play another noble heart, and then I'll get in with a six five. Jesus. Uh, so you can make it a 7-6. That'll bring me to 7. That's some uh, And then at which point after two township activate, if I, yeah, this block is probably something I have to make. So um, I haven't done no math. <laughs> I'll block with the P and Kieran because of this card in my hand. Do you want a township or I want to cast this thing? I feel like you would just want a township. I can nearly um, nearly kill you if a township. But what if I get quartered on or something? What if I can... Oh no, what could I do? I can get quartered on and kind of die. Or I can cast this card and maybe live. But then I take a bunch of damage. I guess a bunch is like seven. Whatever, I cast this card. Uh, go. Jesus! Stop having Thalia. Did really want a township, though. Guess if I knew all that, I probably Ooh. didn't need a shock. Oh, no. No! I'm sure I'm... Stupid Thalia. Were you going to kill me? Hope not. Okay. Um How do I win? so how do I win this game now? Right now. Yeah, it probably should have been at thirteen. I, I blew it. So this plus this, so these attacking this turn and then these attacking the next turn is lethal, but we do have one blocker, so I can Force lethal next turn by attacking with all of these. Okay. That's a thing I can do. Sure. Can I survive the attack if I do that? I would have two blockers, and this Thalia would be gone, so I can presumably block these two, and I'm at 14. This yep. attack is for four and then seven creatures, which is 11. So I would be I would survive. That seems good to me. Um, I will... And then even if... Yeah, three, six, seven, one, two, three, four. Uh, and then even if you were to township this, you have four Exalted Triggers. So yeah, that's only for five. So attack for seven. Okay, block this. You go to seven? Yep. Oh, you have... Ah, oh, you have Courser. Oh, I don't have a hand. Yeah, so I, I think that's fine. I think I'd rather just... Still try to run this gambit. Uh, I will. Oh, I'm I literally bad. <laughs> like Jesus Christ, this is this is just a just a giant tilt. <laughs> Hold on, let's back up. Miss the courser, the one life off of courser when I path it when I path Thalia. Um, but I think that's fine. Um, yeah, yeah. We'll we'll, we'll continue with the same thing. That thing. So, whatever, take it. <laughs> okay, change my mind. So four. You go to four, uh, because now if the if you shuffle your library to find a land, then you don't have the negate, and I okay. can just cord next turn and win that way. Uh, and then I'll play Eternal Witness and get back Court of Calling. All right, I'm a five life. Yep. Now let's hope you do not draw a negate. I think I want to shuffle. Like, I could uh, try to blind flip a land after that negate if I wanted to, but th that seems kind of weak. Jesus. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> Probably doesn't work how I want it to. Yeah, Court is going to be big on the stack. Big on the stack. How big is it? Five? I can do it for six. 
takes no matter what. Yeah, I, I block two eternal witnesses. I take uh, 11. That is 11. And you can't, you can't even cast Spellcaller after that. You have to leave up a, a mana creature to hmm. somewhat. Maybe I blew I guess, it. Yeah, you needed the negate to beat witness, but I guess you didn't know witness was there. True. Shouldn't have shocked. I want to shuffle. The yeah, well, Bokwell is awful. <laughs> Can't counter any of my cards. All, All right, I give up. Okay. Well, it kind of turned out how I expected. Um, I think my Coco's are a little weak. Um, your Edric Evolutions look pretty good. Yeah, uh, yeah, evolution into P and Kieran was certainly very good. I was generally impressed by how explosive your draws were. There are a lot of times where you didn't have much going, and then a turn later, it felt like I was under a ton of pressure. Um, but I guess that, that's just what mana creatures do. You get to those double spell turns a lot earlier, and Collected Company lets you do it as well. Yeah, now the Reliquary is really powerful. So is a Retreat to Korham. That did a lot more than I thought it would. Yeah. Like, you, you can tap down the whole board when you're going off, and even the Scry has helped a little bit. Yep, and then game one, just tapping out some of my blockers and winning the race that way. I'm sure you can, with fetch lanes, you can tap down their attackers too if you need uh, need help on that side of the race. I think um, I wish I had more or less spell quellers. I never wanted to collect a company because there's only, like in response to a spell, because there's only one in the deck. But if I had more, then that play would be more viable. And I don't know, it kind of just got stuck in my hand and have a good place to, to, to cast it. Yeah, you're, you're not really a deck that can leverage passing with that mana up. I guess if you have a collect a company and a spell queller, but that's just so unlikely. Normally you're just trying to company into them, but... Um, you have so many reasons to company on your main phase with exalted creatures and whatnot that I yeah. can definitely see the spell caller being weak. Yes, it's split between one of the main phase or wait on their turn to do my collective companies. But uh, uh, yeah, I guess I probably want to tune the deck more to be on my main phase. I guess I just get rid of the spell quellers and try to beat down. Yeah, no, I'm but, not uh, surprised. As far as the uh, evolution side of things, I certainly wanted to see more mana creatures. Turn one mana creature, obviously in the in the. Birds of Paradise, Noble Hierarch, Mirror Match is very important. So it's possible that um, I'm a bit biased having played a matchup where they're great, but f having only five in the deck seems definitely seems a little bit low, mm -hmm. uh, You could, especially when you can evolution them into threes. I know Jessalus, the way it's built now, doesn't have a lot of three drops in the deck, uh, and it, it, unfortunately, because evolution exiles when you cast it, you can't Eldritch Evolution your one drop into an Eternal Witness, get back the evolution, and sort of go up the chain that way. Mm -hmm. And if you're naturally curving, you want to play a two drop and then evolution that into a four drop. I know Jeff said the like the the Voice of Resurgence into evolution for P and Kieran, I have four bodies, eight power, uh, is a really strong play, and and I could definitely see that. I was able to do that either um, a couple times and sometimes with Wall of Omens. Uh, and it was quite good every time. But yeah, it seems like your your plan A really. Then you have to be worried about uh, you know Kiki Jeek later on. But yeah, uh, make PM Kieran Alar blink with the Restoration Angel. That's really hard for most decks to beat. Then if they assemble a way to beat it, you can always go up to Kiki Jeek later on. Yeah, and you, you suddenly have so many bodies that your cords are so easily cast at high numbers, and it's really nice. I never really got to go crazy. Like Eldritch Evolution for uh, Elish Norn would have been really nice, but uh, that. Uh, your deck just put me under so much pressure. I never really had time to set up stuff like that. Um, I don't know. May maybe I missed the spot where I could have. Definitely tough to pick up a deck with so many different lines and different singletons. Um, certainly a deck that you want to put in a lot of effort with and a lot of reps with before you take it to a big event. But yeah, I know Jeff, my game one, I had three different or four <laughs> different plays I could make on turn uh, three, and I didn't know what to do. I just kind of make them one at random. Yeah, I guess That's kind of how playtesting and, I guess, testing for Syracuse works out. You just could keep on playing play as you know, many games you can get the reps in just make one decision now then make the next decision next game but try not to tank too much over every, over every little thing yep but yeah this weekend is a uh, SG Open in Syracuse uh, it's modern um, Matthias Hunt and Ryan Overturf are commentating it bringing 15 rounds of modern action Eight, Should, 18 rounds we got three top 8 rounds Tom oh yeah you're, that right. you're very familiar with <laughs> uh, I haven't top 8 at a modern event in a while I've kind of yeah. been slack on that like every modern open this season, I've I've skipped, but I've been to the rest of them, the legacy and the standard ones. So I'm a little little rusty on it. Hopefully, I'll be in shape, but before then, yeah, um, it'll be nice to see what Eldritch Revol or what Eldritch Moon has to offer. We've seen Eldritch Revolution and Spellqueller in a couple of these videos. 
Um, by the time you're watching this, I believe this goes up on, on Friday. So uh, hopefully you've done your testing or are well prepared for that event and have some, some sweet Elge Moon cards to bring to Modern. But we're going to make this sort of transition over. We've doing a lot of standard. We've had the Pro Tour regionals at this point. And now uh, we get to see what, what Modern uh, Elge Moon has in store for Modern with SEG Syracuse and the Invitational in New Jersey the oh, following yeah. weekend. Oh, uh, yeah. I just needed a test for that. Both of them. <laughs> uh, I think everybody probably now has... Uh, been satisfied with standard so now they have time to test the modern but yeah i'll be there i'll be in syracuse i'll be at the invitational so come come say hi yeah come by say hi say hi to ryan and matthias in the booth and then i don't know who's doing coverage for the invitational probably everybody <laughs> a little bit everybody probably <laughs> all, cedric all, and patrick yeah, at least all hands on deck for that one yeah definitely cedric and patrick i'm sure they got a couple other people uh in the wings as well um so you guys can know uh, Check that out. If you're in the area, come down and say hi to all of us. Or if you are uh, not in the area, can't make it down for whatever reason, you can check out all the action on SCG Live. But I think for now, that is all for us. Yeah, that's all I got. Yeah, uh, in our battle for Ross supremacy. <laughs> um, I'm yeah, Ross Miriam, Tom Ross. We'll see you guys next week. All right, bye.